Let me also use this opportunity to express deep personal gratitude and that of my family to you, Your Excellency, to the General Court Marshal and other UPDF authorities, but above all, thank God that at long last I have got justice and freedom. It was not easy, but it is now completely behind us. I'm the happiest human being on earth at this moment. <laughs> this renewal and reinvention of the UPDF, therefore, must necessarily and inevitably involve the old giving way to the young. We must go, Comrade Wasson. And the mantle of leadership passing to the new, the fresh, the energetic, and the innovative, who can absorb and put to effective military use the rapid advances in science and technology. The first retiring general, sir, is resistance officer 00513, General Kale Kaihura. He headed the anti-smuggling unit, which was called the Special Revenue Protection Service. The general was appointed member of the Organization of African Unity. Let me also use this opportunity to express deep personal gratitude and that of my family to you, Your Excellency, to the General Court Marshal and other UPDF authorities, but above all, thank God that at long last I have got justice and freedom. It was not easy, but it is now completely behind us, I'm the happiest human being on earth at this moment. <laughs> Your Excellency, turning to our, to our retirement, I'm honored, privileged, and very happy again that I was chosen and given this opportunity in your presence to speak on behalf of my colleagues at this historic milestone in our lives as we transition from active military service to retirement. But before I go further, let me thank you again on behalf of my colleagues for this very, very colorful, dignified uh, send of ceremony and the, and the generous gifts uh, befit, I, I believe befitting generals. This is really incredible and a big surprise to some of us. <laughs> we thank the organizing committee, excellent organizing committee, for putting all this together. Undoubtedly, sir, as you obviously must, must know, we have mixed feelings. Having been part of and served for a very long time in the heroic NRA stroke UPDF, contributing at different times and in various locations in modest and varied ways to the struggle that changed the course of history of our country and the Great Lakes region and beyond. Therefore, as we leave the force, there is a deep feeling of nostalgia as NRA UPDF had become our family, especially with the old soldiers like me and the Lieutenant General Waswa, who were part of it all from the very beginning. It should also be understandable that we have, go, we have phobias and uncertainties 
as we stepped into the unknown, although the Jekos the other day tried to, to be a political commissar to assure us <laughs> that all will be well, uh, as we contemplate with trepidation what, what awaits us. Since for most of us, since for most of our active and adult lives, we have known nothing else but service in the military and security. So I, 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 as we have these natural reactions, let's also see the reality that we are entering into. In any case, we can't serve forever. We recognize that, like any other health organism, the UPDF must continuously renew and reinvent itself if it is to survive, grow, and develop. That is, it must build the capacity and the capabilities essential to effectively operate in a contemporary world full of ever-evolving military and security threats that are increasing both in sophistication and scale. This renewal and reinvention of the UPDF, therefore, must necessarily and inevitably involve the old giving way to the young. We must go, Comrade Wasson. And the mantle of leadership passing to the new, the fresh, the energetic, and the innovative who can absorb and put to effective military use the rapid advances in science and technology, especially in the area of artificial intelligence, AI, infotech, and biotech, as we are seeing in this Ukraine and the Russia war, where the drones are playing a very uh, critical role. Some of us, me and the, and the General Wasso, I, I don't think really we know much about drones. Allow me, on behalf of my colleagues and our families, to congratulate you and the First Lady on reaching your Golden Jubilee anniversary of marriage. There is no doubt that your outstanding achievements over the decades of this period and the remarkable contributions you continue to make for Uganda and Africa are indelible and, and for sure shall be immortalized in the annals of human history. There is no question in, that you, you, sir, and the First Lady have many more glorious years ahead of you. Happy Golden Jubilee anniversary, sir. The, the, the story of the, of, of, the, of the UPDF NRA is a miracle, miracle story, where something small, that's why the book I wrote was entitled Sowing the Mustard Seed, how something small can grow into a mighty tree. But General Kare has given a very good summary of it. It all came from, from fighting for a just cause fighting for something just and doing it properly without making mistakes. Because some of the people make mistakes. Either they do too much or they took them to do things prematurely. But in our case, we are always taking uh, scientific steps. We didn't do anything that was adventurous. No. We only did what was doable at the time. That's why we talk of a protracted war where you fight battles of short duration, but in a war of a long duration. The battles, when we were still small, had to be of short duration. We could not afford protracted battles because we didn't have the ammunition to fight one battle for a long time. So the battles had to be of short duration, but within a war of long duration. The war is long, but the battles are short. So combining the, 
the, the, the, the, the justness of the cause, of the cause, the justness of the cause, and the correctness of the strategy, and the correctness of the tactics. All of them must be correct. Strategy correct. Strategy means covering the whole from A to Z. And that's how we succeeded. And the General Kale has brought it out well that the, 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 the good force we built up, the strong revolutionary force we built up, did not only rescue Uganda, but somehow contributed to some situations in the region, in the region of, of the Great Lakes. So therefore, I really congratulate you for belonging to such a glorious force. And making your own contribution to it. Because it's sort of the many problems of your people. When you look at the economy now, the, the, it's a totally different story from what it was in 1986. And it is even a different story from what's happening in the world. Even today, if you compare with the whole world, not just in the past. Because like now, if you look at inflation, inflation here now is 3.9% last time when I checked. But in many countries in the world, inflation is very high. People don't have food in many parts of the world. And this is really due to the mistakes made by, by, by the leaders. So I therefore congratulate you, and you should also congratulate yourself because you, you, you belonged to a glorious force, a force that has. <laughs> now, this retirement, do not regard it as becoming redundant now. No, not at all. This is, this is like a mutation from one form of service to another one. And that's why we had to hold on retirement until we had solved the problem of the package. The, 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 the entanda you go with. When you retire, what, what entanda? What, what do you go with? And I can assure you what you are going with now, as the minister was saying, is, is, is considerable. UPDF is there in the background. When you get established in the society and you, you, you produce, they can be buying from you, they can be... You, you should... The, the, the people who are managing the army should, should have a relationship with the veterans. If they produce something that is needed by the army, you should buy from them. So therefore, I congratulate you, and it's now my honor to send you off in, glo in glory and in dignity. Thank you very much. I therefore express my sincere thanks to Excellency and each one of us who are here for being here to share in the miracle stories of our esteemed generals being honorably retired today. The UPDF we serve has been their love every single day and every single minute. We thank them for a, good, a job well done. <clears throat> to have dedicatedly contributed to the fundamental change that you pronounced in 1996 when NRM was coming to power, and they have, in 1986, sorry, and they, they contributing to the growth of NRA UPDF through uh, the various assignments of leadership, through identifying, training, developing, utilizing, 
mentoring and nurturing other men and women of good practice. That's why we are called leaders, because one of the biggest job of leaders is to create other leaders. Otherwise, they could leave a dangerous gap. If any one of them has not done of that, then they have only followed, they have only created followers who may not close the, 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 the gaps, the virtue. They have also participated in contributing to the efforts that have made Uganda a peaceful, secure, and a better place to live in since 1986. And it is because of this secure environment that you can now retire to not only serve this country in, another product, in other productive capacities, but also enjoy your adequate package and the vast years in peace and tranquility. This is a better crop of retiring generals. The others here were limping, but you can see these ones were still by Charlie Mboko. They have been part of a history of a success in every mission. Their service to our country has manifested itself through many issues or situations like a shared understanding of their professional identity, the reason they have served loyally. This does not preclude some minor mistakes by a few of us here, which your excellency assisted to correct as it happens in a family setting. Revolutionary motivation, discipline, striving for excellence and good morals, the reason UPDF is uniquely appreciated. Belonging to a cause greater than oneself and measurable love of one country, one's country, and a sense of accomplishment, as it is mentioned in John 15, 13, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friend. These ones did it. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be among those here today to say a word to the distinguished retiring generals of the UPDF. I take this opportunity to first and foremost thank you, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and Commanding Chief of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, for your great leadership role in building, developing, and nurturing the UPDF from a ragtag force to what it is today. Your Excellency, allow me also to thank the UPDF leadership, which has, under your leadership, wise leadership, guidance, and foresight, maintained good command and control that has resulted into the force's high level of discipline and performance that we are all proud of today. If you know what the UPDF is now, if you want to appreciate with applause, please do so. To the retiring generals, I congratulate you for the successful military service spanning over years and for retiring honorably. You leave it behind a tremendous legacy, not just for the accomplishments of the UPDF, but also with cadres of astute characters. You have successfully led and mentored others and fostered many relationships that will stay with you long after you begin the new chapter of your lives. I know you are retiring with goals that are not yet accomplished. Given the complexity of the world in which we live, the work will never be finished. But you are passing the mantle knowing that you have made positive changes directly impacting on the readiness 
and operational effectiveness of the mighty Uganda People's Defence Forces.